Okay, in this video we are gonna see uh, how uh, uh, changes done in MySQL uh, goes back to the mobile application. So we see in the spin uh, uh, asset type we have uh, the uh, text 5 and text 6 at the end. And we have other options as well, but we want to see how whenever we change something in MySQL uh, changes are reflected back on SQL little in the mobile application. So we will insert uh, a new row in the table asset type. In this case, we will put the name uh, number 60 and name test 7. Okay. So we see that the row has been added with the date of uh, right now. So the date and the, and the time. And then we go. If you go back, we go to the to the activity log of the mobile of the mobile application. We see how the count or the changes, the, the, the application can see already that there is some change. So if we go to add asset, the a method will be restarted automatically to apply the changes to the spinner. So if we go now to the spinner and we scroll, scroll down, uh, we will see that we have test, test 7 over there. And that's all.